short time ago, uh, the president nominated a new prime minister for Iraq. His name is Haider al Albadi. He is a Shia politician. He is a, a member of Nouri al Maliki's party. He's a former aide of the, the prime minister. So this news has been welcomed by the United States as well as the, the United Nations. He has 30 days to form a government that will then need to be endorsed by the parliament with an absolute uh, majority. Now, he has 30 days, but this could happen within a matter of days, and they desperately need some sort of political stability here in Iraq. Obviously, this turmoil is just a, a fertile breeding ground, if you like, uh, for ISIS and, and, and growing support you know, from the, the Sunni minority to uh, these ISIS militants that are making a lightning advance across <laughs> Uh, Iraq. You know, I think the big question now is what does Maliki do next? But let's move to the military conflict right now, raging not far from where you're standing in Erbil. The Associated Press is reporting that the Obama administration has begun to provide weapons directly to the Kurdish forces, the Peshmerga, to help them on the ground there. This is an escalation in the American role there, providing these weapons directly to the Kurds. Well, the Kurds have been calling for more weapons. They said that they need it because at the moment they are being outgunned by these ISIS militants. So they made those desperate calls yesterday. And yes, we are hearing reports that the Americans are arming the Kurds directly.